Hi guys, it's Ebony and today I want to talk to y'all about the Coastal Sense Reveal Palette. It comes in this box right here. And I got this palette um, on Black Fridays on the Coastal Sense website. So it was 50% off the Black Friday sale. So I got it for $9.95, but it actually, the normal price is actually $19.95. So on the back of the box, it shows you all of the beautiful colors right here. And when you take the um, palette out, it's just this very sleek, very skinny palette. And mine is dirty because I've been using it for the past month. So, basically when you open it up, there is no mirror, which I don't know if they sacrificed the mirror in order to keep the price low, I don't know what, but it's no mirror, which is very strange because most palettes will have a mirror. But that's okay. I don't even use these type of mirrors to do my makeup. Anyway, I use a big mirror in my bathroom or vanity area. So when you open it up, the colors look like this, okay? So lots and lots of neutral colors. There's lots of videos on YouTube that will go over this palette along with the Naked palettes and show you which ones are dupes or exact dupes. Um, from watching videos on YouTube before I purchased the palette, um, they pretty much say majority of the colors that you can find in the Naked 1 and Naked 2 palette are in this palette. And I agree, I agree. So why do you need to purchase this palette if you already have the Naked palette? You may be wondering. Just because I like makeup. <laughs> That's all. I really didn't need it. But I like makeup and I have been getting a lot of use out of this palette. So let's go over the palette just a little bit. Let me hold it up on this side. So you have a few matte shades like this um, cream color right here is matte. This is a nice matte brown that you can use as a transition color if you're a lighter skin, if you're a lighter skin brown person, um, brown person, that sounds strange. If you're a lighter skin woman or man, if you wear makeup, that sounds strange. So I'll just put it like this. If you are light skin, this would be a great transition color for you. And this is matte. This color right here is also a brown, but it has kind of a slight purplish tint to it. Let me kind of swatch this. Well, you, you probably can't tell, but it has like, um, let me swatch it against the other Okay, brown. so I swatched these two browns so you can see the difference. This one is more like a warm brown, and this one is also warm, but it has like a purplish tint to it. And you probably can't really tell. They both kind of come off chalky on my skin because they're actually lighter than what I would normally use on my skin as far as browns. Um, for browns that are lighter than my skin color, I can also use them on my lid. I could also use this as a transition a transition color, but I really have to work with it. Um, but if you're lighter than me, this would also be a good transition color. This one is a good transition color. It's also matte. It's a good transition color for me. It's still a warm brown, um, but it's a little bit darker than the other two, and it blends in with my skin a lot better. Okay? So that's one, two, three, four... There's four matte colors at the top, one that you could use for a brow bone, and then a few transition colors, but at the bottom, most of those colors are shimmery colors. They're beautiful colors, very beautiful colors. Um, I used this palette to create my um, eye makeup today, or my makeup look today, and um, I used this gold color on my lid. I used this silvery gray color, in my crease I put just a little bit of black to deepen it and um, I put I put this soft pink color in my tear duct oh I almost forgot I used this brown color right here as the the, the darkest brown no 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 not this one <laughs> this one I'm getting all confused. Well, anyway, I use this one as a transition color color to kind of blend out that gray. And it made a, you know, a pretty nice everyday look. Like a uh, look that's pretty casual. It's not too glammed up. And you can just, you know, wear it to go to work or go out or whatever. 
So that's that. I think it's a really great palette for the price, especially if you can get it like on sale. It's a it's a really great price. I don't know if they'll have a 50% off sale anytime soon, but even if you can get it 20, 30, 40% off, it's still worth the price. Um, even including the fact that it doesn't have a mirror, it's still worth the price. Um, Every time a palette is very slim like this, people will be like, oh, that's so great for travel. It's slim and compact. But you know what? Even if this was twice as thick as it is, in my opinion, it would still be good for travel. But at the same time, I would feel like I'm getting more shadow because you got to think about it. When palettes are very slim, that means the shadow pans are very slim. So it's so much easier to hit pan. Now, if you have lots and lots of palette like most makeup lovers do, you don't have to worry about hitting pan too soon because you're using a variety of different palettes every day. But if you only have a few palettes and the palettes are slim like this, it's easy to hit pan in my opinion. But anyway, I like the palette. Let me swatch just a few more of the colors for you. Um, I'll swatch them on my hand. So I'm going to swatch this gorgeous pink color right here that I put in my... In my tear duct. Okay, it looks like that. Very shimmery, very pretty. Okay, I'm going to swatch also this gray color that I used in my crease. Okay. Also shimmery and beautiful. I'm also going to swatch the gold color that I used on my lid. Okay. That's that. And then lastly, I'm going to swatch this black color. This is a great black shadow. Um, okay. No, I'm not done, sweetheart. I'm coming. All right, guys. So that's all I have for this video. Just wanted to talk about this Coastal Sense Reveal palette. And um, I will be back again soon with another video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.